I'm here today beside the Cold River in Rutland, Vermont. Now, while the water is still running high, it has greatly reduced from where it was yesterday. In fact, yesterday during the peak of the flash flooding, the water had not only overspilled these banks, but the water level would have basically come up to about my chest level. And after several hours of those high waters throwing boulders and entire trees against the side of this bridge, Route 7 was essentially cut in half, severing it from the southern Vermont area. Now, Route 7 also flooded north of Rutland, which meant that the city of Rutland basically became an island. We spoke to several people last night who said they were trapped in Rutland and could not get outside the city to get to their homes because every road in and out of Rutland was closed due to flooding. Now, while water levels have receded today, it remains to be seen whether or not any of the roads that were closed last night due to flooding will be safe enough to be open today. In Rutland, Nick Johnson reporting.